Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yomesh Gupta, and this is part one of a multi-part series where we are going to talk about real-world use cases of some theoretical concepts or some journal concepts that people tell you to, you know, study for your interviews or that are relevant for your day-to-day -day dev work. For for example, in this video, we are going to focus on closures and uh, you might have heard the definition that closure is a function bundle with its lexical scope. But uh, that's the definition that you know. And you can give examples like foo, bar, and so on, inner function, outer function. But in this series, we are going to you know, talk about that in day-to-day -day life where we can face something related to the concepts. Maybe in this video, like closure, so we are going to specifically talk about stale closures, which are also known as stale state. What, what does that mean and how can we overcome those scenarios so let's get started so in this uh, video uh, first we are going to look at this example let's say this is the example where we have you know number of posts and a button called on clicking on, on clicking that button we are going to add a new post this is more equivalent to let's say you have a list of items and you have a cta and a, a clicking on the cta uh, you call the handle click uh, function. The, this method is basically, let's say, going to make an API call and on response of that API call, we are going to update the count here. And based on that count, we are, show, we are going to show the count or the number of posts. So we are using set timeout to uh, mimic the async behavior. So right now, let's say if I click on this add new button multiple times, then the journal understanding is that count uh, after every two seconds, the count will going to increase. So the number of count should be uh, if I click two times, then two. If I click four times, then four and so on. So let's see what happens. So if I click on add new a couple of times and then I wait two seconds, then it only becomes one. No matter if I, you know, you can say that there are multiple set timeout set uh, and uh, after four seconds, it will become two or so on that that's not happening so if i click on multiple times then also it is becoming just two it is not go, ideally it should increase multiple times but that's not happening so why is that that is because uh, so one thing to understand is that in classes there was a concept of this statement and that was uh, you know people say that we move to hooks and we don't have to worry about this uh, this binding and so on but in hooks or in functional components you must be uh, you know, aware and careful when it comes to closures. So like in this case, we are this uh, callback uh, where we are setting the set count creates a closure where we are accessing count variable. We are always accessing the stale value of the count variable. That is why it is called stale closure. That means the cl closure is not getting the most up-to-date value of count. So let's say if I console log count here, and see what is the value. So count, I open inspect element, so I go to console log, let's refresh it. Let's refresh it again. <clears throat> so if I add new couple of times, then it becomes one and see it here, it shows that it runs twice. Let me zoom in a bit. So it shows that the count, the function was called twice and every time the count value we are getting zero because this function creates a closure and in that closure, the stale value of count is captured every time. So how do we fix this? So in this case, we the simple fix is that we just use the other form of update that we pass the callback function here and let's say it's call it state and we update the state. So basically these type of stale closures usually happen in the cases where you are updating the state based on the previous value of the state. And if a closure is created, then it captures the, uh, it, it is not always having the most up-to-date value of the state. So right now, if I refresh now, and if I, let's say, click multiple times, then you'll see that the count is three. So it is getting three. Though on line number eight, we are getting the, you know, uh, as zero, but the function 
when we are passing the we are using the callback uh, way of updating the state then the state will be the most updated state at that point of time so let's take a look at another example of the same stale closure or stale state so we if if you have seen my previous videos or or on the platform we recently discussed a question where you have to build a custom timer hook that a use timer that takes total duration and you run the timer here you have a start and stop when you click on start button then the timer starts and when you click on stop button then the timer stops i'll share the link of this question in the description you can go through that so in let me close this then so if if we check here that we have start button we have stop button use effect that changes the uh, uh, stops the timer when it reach, reaches to zero and so on so in the start button what we are doing that we are capturing the id return by set interval so basically we are setting the set interval to decrease the uh, timer after every 1 second so ideally it should go from 5 to 4 3 and so on but if if i run it that if i say start then it becomes 5 and 4 and it never changes i mean it it always remains paused and if i console log it so first thought must be there that the timer is somehow stuck it is not running so let's do one thing let's call is running and see if the timer is running or not so let's refresh this and we go to console clean it so if we start timer so if you say is running second time third time fourth time fifth time and so on so that means our timer is running and our set say seconds function is called again and again but as we discussed earlier due to the stale closure that this uh, function set interval uh, creates an closure where we are accessing the stale value of seconds that's why it is not updating and this is happening because of the async behavior so what can we do we can do the same thing that we did in the previous example that we use the callback way to update the state and uh, we reset it we close clean this and then we start a timer again so 5 4 3 2 1 and 0 and on 0 the timer resets and it is working now and our timer is called five times so let's take another example and this is the example where we are going to see that uh, this is not limited to just you know any event handler or something this is also true when it comes to use effect so let's say so this code is might not be perfect it is written in a, a way to you know convey the concept here so please don't <laughs> nitpick that this is wrong this is wrong and so on so let's say we are building an auto save functionality that uh, if user click uh, click on you know command s or control s then we should save the code now uh, one way of writing is that we create a use effect and in this use effect we set an event listener on key down and we pass the function handle auto save and we are cleaning this function on unmount so we are setting this uh, event handler on the mount of the component and in the handle auto save function we are checking that if it's a control key meta key and it is 83 then we save the code somehow let's say we make an api call or we save on the local storage so ideally what happens should happen is that if i uh, update the code and i uh, press command s then the console log should be code is the most updated value so let's see if that's the case so let's say if i refresh it i clean it again i update the code and now if i press command s then i am getting the initial value of the code and the initial value we are getting from the app component in the app component we have default code or something passed and that is the we are always getting the initial value no matter if i say i am updated code and command s then also we are getting the default value this is again because of the stale closure that we are only accessing the uh, stale value now to fix this there could be multiple ways uh, one one thing one way would be that if you you know pass handle save here that uh, 
and okay now the, this will break because you are passing it before it is called this is temp row you pass it and it's it is working now so you pass handle auto save don't worry about the optimization that it is going to be called multiple times you can use use callback and everything maybe here you can even pass code here so if i check now that if we update the code and we press command s then we are getting the most updated value i as i mentioned don't worry about the optimization that the function is called many times you can use the bounce and uh, use callback and all that to fix those the idea here is to convey the concept that uh, that uh, earlier due to stale closure we were able we were only accessing the old value that's why on every render the event is set again and clean again and uh, we are getting the most updated value at that point of time so this brings end to our video uh, this was a short concept regarding closures that uh, how we can we face uh, you know quirks around closures in real world examples so i hope you learned something from this if yes then please do like share and subscribe we would be coming with more videos related to you know co same concepts we are going to or the you, common concepts that we use in day to day uh, workflow so thank you have a nice day bye, -bye.